guys, this is Mommy Kelly. I'm going to show you how I clean our spa bath. Okay, so this is Taglish, okay? This is our spa bath and look, because we use this area to shower also, so it's always dirty, right? Or, or the dirt will build up. Now, before, this was very black really black because i think for years it wasn't uh, clean properly or i don't know you're trying to clean it so um here on this area it was very black something like that okay something like that that one so i tried to clean it with um i tried to clean it with you know, uh, multi-purpose cleaner. Um, what else did I use? Bleach. Pure, pure uh, vinegar. Pure soap. So laundry soap, whatever soap I can use. So you see, you see, there's black, right? Okay, so I'm going to clean that. I'm going to clean that. So I've used everything. I scrubbed it, you know. Um, nothing. Nothing worked. Nothing worked for me. Hydrogen peroxide, bleach. So I found out, you know, something on YouTube as a YouTuber. Um, I love looking at uh, DIYs, you know, something. And look at that also it's dirty but those are molds and I think the problem with that is uh, the rubber you know so I think I need to replace that I haven't tried the trick you know that you will put you will put like a cotton so just stick the cotton uh, there and then put bleach Let's see. I will try that since this is a, if it didn't work, uh, for sure, we have to replace that. Remove the rubber and then replace it. Okay. So I'll show you my ingredients and so that I can share it with you so you can have a cleaning agent that is ex inexpensive and, uh, yeah, chemical free, right? Okay, just give me a mo give me a moment, uh, and I will get my my um, my ingredients. Okay, so these are my ingredients to make my concoction for the cleaning. So you need, you know, a spray bottle. A brush or a scrubbing scrubbing pad measuring cup and then vinegar and dishwashing liquid okay so that is for the concoction of my cleaner now for this one you need bleach and a tissue paper or cotton if you want but this one is uh, the available material here so that's what I'm going to use okay so what I'm going to do first is I think put put here on the line you know tissue tissue paper and then spray it with with bleach and then let it soak you know don't let it dry just let it soak and then we will try to scrub it later with a toothbrush okay so a toothbrush where's my toothbrush okay so this one toothbrush like that mm -mm -mm. Okay, I'll do it first. I'll prepare and then I will uh, film it again. Okay, just give me a moment. 
Okay, so what I'm going to do now is spray it with bleach. Okay, so spray all over. And use tissue paper. Ilagay nyo lahat yan dun sa part na maitim. So, dun sa ano yan eh, silicone. Hindi talaga siya uh, grout. Naghahanap ako ng spray bottle. There it is, spray bottle. And then, to use a pure bleach. Okay, spray mo yung pure bleach and then put tissue paper all around. Siguraduhin nyo na nakasiksik and nakadikit para mas effective. Kailangan na soak siya for 30 minutes kasi kung walang tissue, matutuyo siya agad. So, wag kayong, pag nagsasoak kayo, wag nyo gagamitin yung exhaust fan or yung iiwang bukas ang door. Okay? So, isiksik nyo. Spray, spray, spray. With bleach. Yan. So, yun yung mga tip. Although yung tile grout, hindi ko pa yan nalilinisin. And usually, sabay-sabay kong ginagawa. But I'm going to do it separately. Gusto ko lang ipakita yung pinaka spa bath. Kasi dati talaga ang itim-itim niyan. Eh, ito, first time ko palang gagawin to. Itong paglalagay na to. So, pare-pareho tayo makakita kung effective or not. Bleach. Kasi nakita ko to sa isang YouTuber, mga DIY and how-tos. So, binabad daw niya ng pure bleach. Yan, para matanggal yung itim-itim. Namuti naman agad dun sa kanyang video. Pagtanggal niya nung tissue. But let's see... Tingnan natin kung effective. So, yan, kapag na na-spray mo na yan at siguradong babad na at siguradong siksik na, hayaan mo lang siya dyan. Okay? Now, dun sa vinegar and dishwashing soap, napanood ko nga lang din yan sa YouTube kasi dati nga, sinubo ko ng lahat wala, hindi effective. So, ngayon gagawa na ako ng concoction. 50-50 ang ratio niya. Ng vinegar and dishwashing soap. Okay? So, alam naman natin na ang vinegar ay nakakapatay ng germs and molds. And, isa pa, natural na ingredient siya. Hindi siya nakakasakit sa mata, nakakasakit sa ilong, kapag nagbabad ka dyan. Although, masakit sa ilong, pero at least, it's natural. Hindi ka tulad ng ibang cleaning products. Dati, nagginamit kong cleaning products. My God. Yung kunyari, yung mga multi-purpose cleaner, sugar soap. Nagka-allergy ako. Kating-kate ako. Nagtubuan ng mga ano. So, naghanap ako ng ibang mas natural para hindi masama sa katawan mo. So, this one, spray everything. Ayan na yung pang-spray ko. At yan yung gustong-gusto kong spray bottle. Hindi na, uh, ano, hindi yan nasisira agad. Tagal-tagal na yan, pero ang ganda pa rin ng pag-spray, hindi nasisira. So, spray everything. wag lang yung maduming part. Everything. Yan, pati yung mga top. Yan, sa basin, lahat yan. And then, let it soak for 30 minutes. Okay, so guys, we're back. After 30 minutes, so what I'm going to do now is scrub using the scrubber and that uh, scotch bright. Scotch bright talagang tawag. Green scouring pan. <laughs> My brand. Okay. So, just give me a moment. I'll get inside so that I can start. Slippery. Okay. It's slippery, so be careful. Mamaya, mamaya ako na tatanggalin yan, ha? So, ito, look, ha? Oh, ba? Parang wala, di ba? Ooh, look at that. Mm. Did you 
si Dar. Ito, ito. Yan. Na matagal ko nang gusto. Kinukot ko tula. Oh! Si! Isang ganunan lang, oh. Hmm. Ito. Oh. Oh, di ba? So, that's what I'm saying. Ayan, oh. Parang merong streak ng white. Oh, wala na. Okay. And then you will rinse that later. Okay? Okay, just give me a moment. Gusto ko siyang ilapag eh, kaso. <laughs> anyway, sa yan. Pangit ng lighting, no? Okay, so just brush. I have another brush. Where is it? There. There it is. You go. Let's get the brush. Yeah. This is what I'm going to use to brush the. Oi, nakita mo yun? OMG. Kita mo? <laughs> Oh my God. Nakuskus lang yung itin-itin na ano. Nakita niyo yun, merong black-black. Oh. Ay, mali. Hindi ko napakita. See? Hmm. So, this is the, ano rin eh, yung silicone. Dapat pala nilagyan ko rin ng, ng, what do you call that? Bleach. Okay. Let's move here. Naitim na talaga to eh. Saan na ba yun? Yun. Actually, I don't really use that brush for that. Toothbrush dun dapat eh. Pero nakita niyo naman. Sige, itatry kong mag... Mag before and after picture. Ano? Pag, so scrub it. Sige. So, scrub lang ng scrub until matapos mo lahat. Scrubin yung mga gold na yan dun sa mga top. Gusto ko, ano, 
ang advice ko rin ay sana yung mga shower head nyo, yun yung ano, detachable, yung may hose, para easy lang ang pag-spray ng nalinis mo. Kasi kung tabo-tabo lang, or yung, yung, you know, basin or something, eh, ang hirap. And, mas ma daping water ang kailangan mo. So, ito, mas makakatipid ka. So, pero ito, dahil yung aming shower head ay hindi siya ganun, buhos-buhos lang ako. But, dun sa other shower namin, binabilang ko siya talaga ng ano, ng, ng uh, shower head na may hose. Oops! Kasi ginagamit ko rin yun sa, sa mga dogs pag nag-shower. So, ayan, ayoko rin nung gold. Kasi ito, lumang bahay na to. So, ayoko rin yung mga gold. Nagaan siya. Look at that. Di ba? Ang itim. So, ayoko rin nung gano'n. Kasi madaling nag-fade. Tinatanggal ko na yung mga tissue ngayon. Oops, hindi siya effective. Kikita nyo, may mga itim-itim. Anyway, scrub, scrub. Tingnan natin kung matatanggal. Hindi pa rin. So, kailangan palitan na yan. Peel nyo, and then kailangan palitan ng silikon. Ngayon, yan, rinse, rinse. Hanggang sa malinis na malinis na. At makikita nyo, once you've rinsed everything, makikita nyo na kung gano kakintab yung ano nyo, spa bath. Yung spa bath na yan ay made of um, fiberglass. So, merong iba. Eh, o, pero sa bathtub, sa ano, effective din yan, of course. Sa mga tiled or yung mga bakal na na bathtub. So, lahat yan. Pati nga sa toilet yan ang gamit ko. So, actually, itong concoction na to, I use it for everywhere cleaning. Kahit saan. Especially dun sa mga may tiles, banyo, sa kusina, dun sa stove top. Yan din ang ginagamit ko. Ooh, look at that. Tinan mo, oh, nangingintab na, di ba? So, yung mga calcification, natatanggal. Ngayon, uh, kung hindi nyo pa alam, lilipat na kami ng bahay. Lilipat na kami, interstate. So, at least, lumang bago. <laughs> so, at least, um, mas malinis siya. Fresh start talaga. So, may maintain ko yun na malinis. Parate. Ayan, so, makikita na natin yung kaibahan. Alam naman natin ang vinegar nga, ba magaling siya, na panglinis. Oh, look at that. See the difference now. ba diba? Ang kintab, wala na ng mga black-black, although yung lighting ko, hindi masyadong maganda. Pero eto na lang yun, kailangan talaga ipil yan. At palitan. Next time ka ako yung grout, lilinisin ko. With hydrogen peroxide. Okay? The before and after picture, hindi masyadong kita. O, sa lababo, before and after. Nice. Yan, makintab na and malinis na. Thank you for watching, guys. And please subscribe to my channel. Goodbye.